In this episode of Advisor Revelations, hear how firms can leverage the Advent Insurance Marketplace powered by BPL to grow their practice and help clients find the best commission-free solutions to fit their retirement needs. Welcome to the Advisor Revelations podcast. I'm Jonathan Barth, your host today and an RVP at DPL Financial Partners. Today, we'll be discussing how advisors, like our guest, use leading tools and technology available on the Advent Insurance Marketplace powered by DPL to grow their firm and help their clients. I'd like to introduce our two guests here today, both of whom are from Avior Wealth Management. I'd like to first welcome Ryan McQuillan, who is a wealth advisor and director of firm development, and Britt Campbell is joining us as well, who is also a wealth advisor and managing director with the firm. Hey guys, how are we doing today? Thanks for joining. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks for having us. Great. Well, before we get our discussion started here today, I want to remind our listeners um, to please subscribe to this podcast on your favorite streaming app for updates. Uh, If anything we talk about interests you today or you want to have a deeper conversation, be sure to connect with the DPL consultant on our website, dplfp.com. All right. So now we've got that out of the way, let's get into it. Um, so that our listeners can get some context around our conversation and have a little bit of understanding about the type of firm um, that Avior is and, and who you work with, um, could you share a little bit about yourselves? Let's get this kind of open open up. Um, I'll start with Ryan. Ryan, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and, and your role within the firm and how long you've been working with DPL. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Um, as Jonathan mentioned, my name is Ryan McQuillan, I'm a director of firm development here. Uh, really kind of run two sides of of the initiatives in our firm, you know, one being the recruiting side, uh, advisors evaluating us as a platform and a a partner. And on the other side, I I support uh, some of the uh, advisor coaching and collaboration efforts, which, you know, does kind of bleed into uh, the way that we do business. And um, so, so when it comes to our partnership with DPL, I think it's important to kind of dig in through today, you know, what, what this partnership means to us, how we're using it internally. But I think it would be prudent maybe to get a, you know, more, more clear picture of, you know, how we've evolved as a firm and where we came from. And, and that's, that's uh, you know, a topic that I turn over to Britt as, as kind of the founding member here. Uh, Britt, do you want to share a little bit about who we are in our history? Yeah, you bet. So I'm Britt Campbell, um, founder and managing partner of Avior. Um, I've been a financial advisor for 23 years, so we've definitely gone through some uh, interesting times over the last couple of decades. Uh, we co-founded this uh, company of ours. Uh, we brought two small RIA firms together in 2011, and at that time, you know, there were a total of five of us, uh, five total employees, three partners. Uh, you know, we really wanted to build a firm that is deeply centered around deep, comprehensive financial planning and not just uh, not to say it, but actually live it. And so uh, we, we started uh, in 2011. We, we managed about one hundred and twenty million dollars back then. And we thought that was a lot. And uh, we're, we're probably going to finish the year here uh, right around three billion that we manage on behalf of roughly three thousand client households. So. Um, so our journey certainly has, um, you know, changed over time. And, um, and I, I think, uh, you know, you kind of are in a perpetual state of evolution, you know, I think uh, as an advisor and, and certainly as a business owner. So uh, deep comprehensive financial planning is really kind of the, the, the center uh, of our firm. And a lot of our technology and process has definitely been uh, driven around that. So the DPL has a huge part of that along with some other, uh, major tech vendors that we use. So, so we're an open book. So whatever you guys would like to know about us, we're happy to share. (laughs) Well, I'm sure a lot of the advisors are sitting here thinking, okay, you started out with five uh, team members in 2011. How many are you all at now? Probably 115. (laughs) Yeah. It's a pretty tremendous growth over the last decade. Yeah. I think I, I looked and I think our average growth rate is somewhere in the 30 to 40% on average compounded per year. And it's definitely been, uh, been quite a journey. Right. And some of that's been through addition, bringing additional teams on into Avior as well. And I'm sure we'll get into that. You bet. Thanks for that background. That's that's great. Um, so, so a little bit more context for, for our listeners here. 
You, know, you all were early adopters of both Black Diamond and you've been a longtime member of DPL. Um, thinking back to our earliest conversations and, and getting started here together, what were some things that you saw from you know, the very first conversation, the first couple of conversations we had that really kind of flip the light bulb on. You were like, hey, this is something that we could really use to, to grow our firm and help our end clients. As you guys know, the landscape in the insurance industry on the RIA side is um, uh, now very rapidly evolving. It, it wasn't always that way. So, um, you know, there's a, a lot of us on the RIA side of the business that really have been looking for fiduciary insurance products that that we can put in front of clients and know that we're, we're kind of delivering them the best open architecture uh, approach toward making sure that their needs are being met. And um, when you become a financial advisor or you're running an enterprise level firm like we are, you know, one of the most important things to be successful is to automate as much as you possibly can on the background, right? So uh, the, the, the secret sauce to success isn't because people are super hyper intelligent or they're you know whatever it's just maximizing your time in the best way to get the highest roi in your time so uh, in my experience uh, after doing this for 23 years uh, as a financial advisor my highest roi in my time is sitting in front of clients prospects building a relationship and solving as many possible um, problems that that i can for them and adding value uh, as a ceo of a rapidly growing firm our mission is to support financial advisors in the same way so they can deliver this, right? And so one of the reasons why we are very early adopters of both Black Diamond, we, we launched Black Diamond right out of the chute. So uh, we, we looked at a half a dozen of the largest different vendors in our industry. And, you know, when it all boiled down to it, all of them had a lot of data and inherently the data is helpful, but you have to be able to deliver that in a way that is easy for clients to understand and easy for financial advisors to be able to use that in their practice. And we, we fell in love with Black Diamond's kind of interface that, that you look at every day. And that was really the distinguishing factor. Uh, there were lots of other solutions that cost a lot less, but at the end of the day, Black Diamond showed up, they automate a lot of this stuff and the end output to the client and to the advisor was just the best out of the, out of the breed. So, um, and then with DPL, you know, it, it um, uh, you guys have done a really remarkable job of automating the data process, for example. So a lot of these insurance carriers really don't have all of that built out and, and just having it all intertwined with Black Diamond in a way that makes everything very automated for us, saves us a huge amount of operations, time, money, and energy, and just brain damage. So um, clearly it's open architecture. That's one of the things that really matters a lot to us. And so when we, we, we show up and talk to you guys, <clears throat> we know that we're going to be able to put the very best product in front of a client uh, and meet our fiduciary obligation to them. And we also know that if we're in a competitive situation, somebody else isn't going to show up with a, with a better thing because you guys ha have really built this out with so many different firms. And, and uh, you know, we just, we care a lot about that. So, so back to the ROI component of this, you know, financial advisors and firms, they spend time doing all these 100 things in the background and none of them are sitting in front of a client um, solving problems, right? And so the more of that that's automated, the better. I, I, I had a chance to meet with a billion dollar firm that we were discussing acquiring. And I thought it was interesting because that's a pretty sizable firm. And, uh, and they use a lot of fixed annuities as, as the, the fixed income component. And they were using five or six different carriers around the country and none of it was automated at all. They didn't even have data feeds set up. So they had four full-time people whose job it was to build manual um, asset balance sheets for clients. So when financial advisors are sitting in front of a client, they can actually have all the accounts on there. And I'm like, wow, can you imagine if you took the time and the energy away from those four people and deployed that somewhere else, like what you could do for people, right? So, you know, it, there's just, if you want to scale your practice or scale your firm, you have to have integration and you have to have automation. And that is where the magic happens. And uh, if you don't do those things and get away from all those other time suck items, uh, you'll just never be able to, to, to build the thing that you always wanted to build. So, so both Black Diamond and DPL have both been on the, the kind of the cutting edge of that for us. And uh, our, our firm has evolved a great deal and, and uh, 
we've watched your both of your firms uh, evolve right along with us. So it's been really uh, an, an amazing partnership. That's fantastic insight there. I think, you know, we were all kind of sitting here smiling and, and chuckling when you're thinking about four people, just their only job is to make sure the data feed gets in there. And it's like, that's solved with technology. We can make this so much easier, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. And and, uh, and DPL is um, leading in the industry on that. It's pretty remarkable. So thank you for those those kind of words. Um, I want to kick it to, to Ryan. Um, where does automation come up with your conversations, both as a wealth advisor, but then even working with, you know, the development team um, internally? Yeah, I'll, I'll give a little background here and hopefully make a joke. You know, part of my job is convincing Britt that I, I know what I'm doing sometimes. Uh, but but one of the things that, that I'll give them a lot of credit, uh, the, the original, you know, team that negotiated all these things, this was already built when I got here, right? But, but if I back up for a second and say part of my evaluation leaving the broker dealer world, you know, I, I really didn't understand what that meant, right? I, I knew that I was kind of getting into a world where the, the consistency of, of advice and, and how we delivered it would make it better, but I just didn't know what that really meant in tools and resources. And I, I came in with a pretty heavy insurance background and frankly, you know, one of the pleasant surprises of this and this partnership with DPL was I pretty much had it made up in my mind that, that me making this change uh, pretty much eliminated my ability to, you know, place variable products when they made sense or to, to still provide advice and service to, to clients that I'd worked with on the, in the past on these things. And that couldn't have been further from the truth. It was just learning that, that there's been a lot of commitment to building this out on your end. So I kind of walked into it in a really good situation. So um, that, that was a, you know, a, a blessing in disguise that I was, I was really pleasantly surprised to walk into. On the other side, you know, I, I, can, I know we're going to talk further about how we, you know, use DPL as a partner in our, you know, our due diligence that we do with other firms and other advisors, but it, it's really good for me from, from a practice management perspective to be able to help advisors, you know, take work that the clients have already done um, and, and show them a way to, you know, get DPL involved, to get that data being fed, to analyze that a little more holistically. Um, and, and frankly, one of the things that DPL does that, that is maybe a little understated is the fabric of what we do as a fiduciary is it has a lot to do with our our ability to get into the weeds and you know read the fine print and do the small things right and dpl's biggest value prop proposition to me as a practitioner is that they will go through the effort of putting these solutions side by side and and almost interpreting contracts um as you become, you know, as you grow, your, your ability to kind of look at every single detail without partners and without specialists or staff planners, uh, it just becomes really challenging. So that's one of the things from a practice standpoint that I've really appreciated is being able to, you know, work with advisors and DPL to kind of investigate the client solutions in a really objective and clear way. And, and that allows us to be in a position where we can make quick, decisive decisions on the best path forward. So that's been an instrumental. That's great. Yeah, that's some of the work that goes on in the background so that you can spend more time in front of clients or in front of other advisor teams, right, that, that you're talking to and, and talking about acquiring or partnering with. Um, so that's great to hear. Thank you for that feedback and uh, really, you know, putting us into a great spot here for the listeners. Um, you know, one of the, wait a minute, was there a joke in there, Ryan? I, I think my joke was that I, I try to spend most of my time convincing Brett that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Um, so let's talk about the, the Breakaway Accelerator program a little bit. Um, it's one of the benefits that's available through uh, Black Diamond uh, Access with DPL um, and the Advent Insurance Marketplace. Um, and 
really most advisors um, access this for client solutions, but the way that you all use DPL and the Breakaway Accelerator program is a little bit outside of the box. And really the DPL platform, you know, you all really are taking full advantage of it is what I would say. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your experience with talking to um, firms, both externally and then even your own internal advisors and some of the benefits that you've really seen, you know, from working with DPL and, and the platform? When, when we get an opportunity to meet with an advisor for the first time, there, there's conversations that are around, what do they really like about what they're doing? You know, if they had a, a blank check, what would they change? What would they add to their practice? We're, trying, we're really trying to get a good sense of who they are and, and maybe what would warrant a discussion, whether that's a, you know, a, a, a succession planning opportunity or just a ease of doing business or being a part of things that we're doing on, a, on an enterprise level. It, it, the advisors that we get an opportunity to talk to, they, they have a bunch of different uh, kind of driving forces and how they're making these decisions. But when it comes to uh, demonstrating our value proposition, it's not only a deep dive into who we are and what we do on the internal side, it's also how do our partners uh, enhance and, and make up our, our true value proposition, which is them uh, being able to run the business the way that we want with some autonomy and, and in areas that they don't have expertise, that we can go help them find new opportunities and, and give them a seamless way to, to run their practice. Um, so I, I, I really enjoy uh, the, this exercise we put folks through. It, it's called a discovery day, which is to me, I, I joke, it's like a campus visit for a high school athlete that's going to visit some of the top schools, right? If you want to make a decision, if you think it's the right to join a firm, you probably should go, you know, meet the coaching staff, the recruiting team, the, the department heads, you know, in today's world, all the extra NIL stuff, right? And, and, and most importantly, you know, you, you probably want to try on the jersey, you know, take a picture, see if it... Uh, if you see yourself doing it and we've leveraged DPL as part of this exercise to really augment and, and complement what we do at the core baseline uh, from a firm execution standpoint, but also who are these other organizations that we've chosen as partners to help the advisors do good work for clients. And, and as you know, Jonathan, you and your team have, you know, ran a, a number of these sessions with us where, and advisors evaluating our firm and we we run a pretty tight ship with it but part of that is building confidence that every line of the practice is really covered not only in a way that is conducive to doing business but also that that even folks outside of our organization like dpl are actually committed to growing with us and it's been it's been really effective well that, that's great to hear and yeah we've done a couple of those discovery days and i think uh at least a few of them have turned out well for us, uh, if I remember correctly. I almost like to think of, you know, DPL is the almost like the weight room, right? The cool tools that can help you get a little bit bigger and grow a little bit stronger. And I don't know if that's that's real or not. Maybe everybody's rolling their eyes when they're listening to this. Um, I'm totally gonna steal that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Next time you come on, you're gonna talk about it. I'm the strength and conditioning coach or something. Um, but let, let's uh, talk about the during those days, one of the things that we always do is um, we demo our tools, right? Which is a big thing that we've you know really built out here at DPL over the last couple of years, getting more tools and resources into the hands of end advisors and, and so that you all can meet with your clients. Um, is there any client scenario in particular that you really want to highlight from running those tools or um, anything that you've even heard from some of the advisor teams that have gone back and used those advisor tools, like the, the annuity comparison tool, uh, Brian. Yeah, we, we run across this quite often. And I think there's, you know, kind of three driving conversations with our clients that, that kick this off, right? It's clients that, you know, don't have these types of products on the annuity side and they've you know, somebody's brought them uh, to their attention they're, and they're curious and they're coming to the advisor, you know, asking to kind of look around the marketplace. Then there's clients that already have them and they, they may have had them for a while and they're, they're part of the financial plan 
and and they need a refresher on what these products are, what they're designed to do, and how do they fit into the plan. And ultimately, the the comparison tool helps us analyze in, in, a, in a really objective and simple way based on what we're trying to accomplish with this capital. Is is this product still appropriate, or are there other alternatives that that solve the, the needs that they're looking for? And there, there's also a third component, and you guys have been awfully helpful with this, which is, you know, having uh, the ability to service uh, existing policies. Because so often, you know, our folks that join our firm, they might have have worked with these products in the past, and they've made them a, a, a really integral part of the financial planning process. And these products are still good with these carriers, and, and there's really no need to make those changes. And not only has DPL done a good job helping us, you know, solidify that advice with our clients, but they've also done a good job helping us, you know, make sure that we can go reach in and and uh, you know manage those policies and those those products in a formal way, uh, which is the you know, the power of attorney type of, of link in and, and getting the data feeds back through our system. So that's, th those are really the three situations we look, look at where we we've, we've had a ton of value on, on all sides. Right. And it's all about consolidating that data and making it easier for you all. Um, you know, one thing that often will come up when we're talking to advisors or, or even, you know, the own advisor teams that we're doing on the discovery days is that, they're leaving the broker dealer channel. They are dropping their seven. Um, I think market council puts it as like they're, they're crossing the street. And when you cross the street, you don't want to get caught in the middle, right? When the lights are changing. Um, could you share a little bit about what it means to be able to have DPL as a resource for those, those firms and what it, what it means really to Avier where you don't need a broker dealer affiliation to work with DPL and to work with, with these annuities. You don't need an insurance license. What does that mean for your firm and, and what does it mean for the brand that you all are have built and are continuing to build? Um, and I'll, I'll direct that toward Britt. I would love to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, you bet. I, I definitely think that um, uh, the industry has been evolving away from the broker dealer model to the RIA model for quite some time. Uh, and it appears now that it's really picking up some pretty significant momentum. But you know, our firm typically hires uh, more seasoned financial advisors. And as you know, that many of them are coming out of the broker dealer channel and uh, whether it be the wirehouse or the independent side of the things. And it's not uncommon for them to have some of these legacy uh, items. And in the early days of our business before DPL, we we had to just build a much larger funnel of advisors that we're talking to to find ones that that could join us without without having a place for some of that business. and. You know, with most advisors that we talk to, it's usually somewhere between five or maybe up to 20 percent of their business. But in a lot of cases, it's enough, you know, it's enough of their business that it had become an obstacle. And so in the early days, we unfortunately kind of turned a lot of people away that I think uh, we would be able to hire today. And um, in many cases, they're not always growing that, you know, broker dealer component of their business, but but they have to maintain it to, to be successful with the clients. And so. Um, I don't know, Ryan, out of every hundred financial advisors, I, I would bet maybe a quarter or a third of them definitely have a pretty sizable presence on the, on the BD side. And, and uh, because of DPL, we have the entire universe to, to kind of, it's a big, uh, it's a big sea that we're able to fish in now and uh, definitely has been helpful to uh, at least at the very minimum, be able to service those client accounts and, and whatnot. So it just kind of feels like you're leaving clients uh, behind when you're you're not able to bring them over and bring all of their stuff over. So uh, that's definitely been a pretty pretty value added. I don't know what Ryan, what would you say is the percentage uh, of the advisors we talk to? I mean, a, a good chunk of them I think are still still on business there. So yeah, yeah, I think it's you know closer to like you said, probably thirty percent or so, and. I think the the biggest evolution, and Jonathan, you referenced the advisor, the Breakaway Accelerator program. Do you, do you want me to share general thoughts on that? Is I, you know, we, we kind of look at this from two lens, right? Do we have a solution for them to, you know, make annuities part of the practice um, in, in a way that makes sense? And that answer with DPL has always been yes, but but as of late and the rollout that you guys have put together. The, the missing component of this 
it, which I believe is a game changer, is the ability to actually do a, a book analysis for somebody, kind of, you know, have your team find opportunities that maybe they didn't catch um, as they're thinking through this, provide a solution for the servicing of it. Uh, but now there's also this ability for an advisor to not have to, to walk away economically from that, to be able to maybe support some of the transition uh, financially on, on the products in those practices that are still paying some recurring revenue. So the, the, the gap continues to get smaller and smaller as, as almost a preventative or a precautionary uh, evaluation early on. When we do talk to people that have these things, it used to be, hey, we have a solution for you to still kind of work in that capacity, but now we, we, we have solutions to actually help you monetize that. And, and that has become a, a big deal. Although we're pretty early on our evaluation of that, we, we're, we're seeing your guys' commitment to, to making that opportunity better, uh, a, a really huge attraction tool. Good. Sounds like we're a good recruiting tool. Um, that's great. And, you know, the big thing for us is that whether it's advisor teams that you all are going to to work with or speak with and, and talk about partnering and, and bringing in or even just the next prospective client that you're meeting. Right. We want you to have an opportunity to have that universe expand so that you don't have to say no, because all of the gaps are are filled there. Um as we're, we're starting to get towards the end of our time here together, um, want to get your thoughts real quick on the Advent Insurance Marketplace in general, right? It's a, it's a newer partnership, right? We've been live with Black Diamond for about two and a half years now. And, you know, talk about the direct integration and the ease of use where the Advent Insurance Marketplace is built right into an advisor's desktop. Um, what does that mean? What, what kind of significance does that have for an advisor where, one-stop shop, what does that do for them, uh, Britt? Yeah, I mean, I think um, generally speaking, it, it, it definitely, back to my earlier comments about every moment you spend in front of a client is, has a huge ROI for, for them and for you. Uh, everything else that you do needs to um, work extremely well for the end client, uh, but be taken off your plate to the highest degree possible. And I think the... You know, when we give you guys a call uh, on a case by case basis, it's definitely like, hey, we, we're, we're trying to solve this. And, and you guys have a, a, an extraordinary team of people that in the background uh, are bringing not only the technical expertise of the knowledge of the carriers, not only uh, what we might be showing the client, but also knowledge of, of existing carriers that, and, and products that, that they may currently have. Um, and look, I don't, you know, most advisors don't spend all day, you know, under, understanding the logistics of all these different contracts that are out there, but you guys spend all, all, all day, every day working on that. And, and uh, when I'm sitting in front of a client, I can say, hey, we brought the, the highest and best possible scenario. Here, here's our team of specialists. Um, and, and, you know, you guys do a lot of that work in the background and it's just unbelievable. So, uh, so it gives me comfort. And, and that is worth a lot. Uh, the data integration part of this is really somewhat unique. When you guys originally got in front of us and said, hey, we're kind of building custom data feeds. And I think the insurance industry kind of has figured out that you got to skate to where the puck is going to be. And, and they're, they're starting to figure that out. And I know that's a constant evolution probably with a lot of carriers on your platform. Uh, but that part is incredibly helpful as well. And uh, again, just operationally speaking, if you if you want to run a really wonderful practice or a business, uh, the more you can automate operations and all of the different moving parts in the background, uh, the better it's going to be and the, the, the more time you can get in front of clients. And if you're running an enterprise firm, the more time you can get in front of your advisors and support them. So um, it definitely checks all the boxes for us. And, and uh, we couldn't ask for anything more. If you guys said, hey, what what's the one thing you could fix? I, I don't think I could come up with something that... Um, I mean, I don't know, right? Do you do you have a different opinion? I'll I'll even reinforce that a little bit. I, I think there's a, a couple segments of the client process that matter, right? The, the the part of the process where we're trying to identify best solutions and and being able to work with you guys not only on a on a consulting side, but but even your willingness to get involved in point of sale where you're you'll hop on the call with 
with clients and answer questions and provide guidance. Um, so it creates a, a tremendous leverage for us. And then at the point we've made a decision uh, for us to have a pretty simple, seamless way to just hand over the data and, and almost let you guys take it from there. Uh, you, you, you do a good job keeping us informed, but you're, you're kind of operating as an extension of, of our, our, our administrative side of the work that we do. And, and then the, the delivery and execution, which is, you know, now how do we get it into their financial planning dashboard? How do we get the, the data to feed over so we can analyze it from not just a product lens, but, but a portfolio and investment lens it is a big deal for us. Well, that's great. Yeah. Scaling and automating the decisioning, purchasing and managing of these advisory annuities is what we always say. And it sounds like we're doing a, a really great job with you all right now and, and across the Black Diamond and Advent Insurance Marketplace universe. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Um, final thoughts, final words that you all would like to leave the listener with listeners with, um, as we wrap up here, Ryan, you know, if, if an advisor is listening to this and, and you're trying to find a solution into, uh, the, the fee world, the commission free world on the annuity side, uh, or, or even the variable life insurance side, um, that they're, they're a great partner. Uh, we, we would endorse them, uh, uh, wholeheartedly. Uh, and, you know, if you're a, if you're a firm that's, you know, already on black diamond, it probably makes this whole conversation a lot easier, especially firms that are trying to grow and attract talent. Uh, this, this, it's not just a practice tool, uh, for us, as we've shared, it's been a really, really significant part of our, our due diligence process for advisors to look at our firm. So, um, uh, I'm really glad that you guys are open to, to working with us in that capacity as well. Always, definitely. Britt, anything to leave with the listeners? Uh, you know, I don't have much to add to that other than at the end of the day, it's just about solving client, you know, sol solving client issues and, and, uh, and helping financial advisors solve client issues, right? Depending on which seat you're in. So um, the more that you can do that, you know, the, you know, it, you don't ever have to wonder about the money part of our industry. If you just show up every day and, and, and in a service leadership kind of a capacity and help other human beings be successful, uh, you'll just be successful as a byproduct of that. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we wish, uh, we had met you guys a long time ago. Um, so it's been a, been a wonderful couple of years here and, uh, and it's been really, uh, neat to watch the, the, the fee based side of the insurance industry evolve. And, and you guys are right on the tip of the spear of that. So, uh, appreciate the partnership and, um, and if any of the listeners here are, uh, decide that they don't want to build all this out themselves, uh, give us a call. Exactly. Wise, wise words to leave us with. So, uh, thank you, Brick Campbell and Ryan McQuillan with Avier Wealth Management for joining us here today. Um, as they mentioned, uh, if you have interest in the fee-only space, you're thinking about going independent, give them a call, give them a ring. They'd be happy to, to show you around. Um, and if you are on Black Diamond and you're listening to this, you haven't uh, engaged with DPL just yet, you want to learn more about the Advent Insurance Marketplace uh, or talk about anything, um, even recruiting and NIL deals, I'm sure you'll find somebody over here at DPL that'd be happy to talk about it. Um, you can access the Advent Insurance Marketplace through Black Diamond, and you can access DPL at dplfp.com. I uh, get in trouble if I didn't remind everybody to uh, subscribe to our podcast as well, wherever you're currently listening to this. Until next time, I'm Jonathan Barth with DPL. Thank you all and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Visit dplfp.com to learn how we can work with advisors like you. And please, for more updates, subscribe to this channel.